Hello, my name is Rebecca Pesco, and I'm your instructor for HRM 245, Human Resource Management for Hospitality. I'm looking forward to a great semester. I've taught this course for many semesters and love it, and I hope you do too. Um, let's go take a few minutes to go through the syllabus and kind of the layout of the class so you feel confident going forward. Um, let's see, here's your syllabus. As you know, this is a three credit class, so this means you should be spending at least three hours a week on this course, but as many as six. There's a general rule of thumb that for every credit hour, um, you should be spending two hours in the course. So online courses can be deceiving. You think that you're taking this online class and all you have to do is the homework, but there's a lot of material built in this class. Um, I really need you to schedule at least six hours a week for this class, and if you do so, I, I think you'll be very successful. Um, here is my contact information. I have my uh, Carteret email here. I will try to respond to you from my Carteret email. Occasionally I may respond to you from another email address as pamlicocc.edu. So if you see something um, come through from that email address, it's just because maybe I had a more lengthy response and um, it was easier to respond from a computer at work um, from Pamlico. I do teach there full time, so I check my um, email throughout the day um, by iPad to see um, when my Carteret students have re um, sent me emails. But like I said, sometimes I'll just forward it on to my Pamlico and type you a nice long email back. Um, this is my cell phone number here. I don't really have great access during the day, uh, but I do um, have access at night. Please don't call me after 7 p.m. though. Not very happy about that. I'm an early riser. So maybe I'll call you back at five if you do. Um, let's see, what else do we need to know? I don't have an office at Carteret. Uh, if you actually ever wanted to meet me, you could come to Pamlico or I could meet you um, in the evenings or afternoons. I coach um, sometimes in Moorhead, so I could always meet you in the evenings. Our course learning outcomes are as follows. I'll let you go through those. The book that we're using is the fifth edition. It's Managing Hospitality Human Resource Management, Human Resources, 5th edition. And you'll need internet access. Course attendance policy is a big one. This is one of those policies that my hands are kind of tied if you exceed it. So I need you to pay attention to this. Um, if you submit any sort of graded assignment during the week, you are counted as present. But if a week goes by, a module passes, and you did not submit a discussion forum, a quiz, um, those are pretty much the two biggies for your class. Um, if you didn't submit anything during that module, I have to count you as absent for the week. And you can only have three of those absences before I'm forced to drop you from the class. Um, not only will those three absences result in zeros for all the assignments for those three weeks, which would definitely hurt your grade, uh, but it adds towards your absences. If you're not sure where you're at for absences, just send me an email and I'll let you know. Um, I keep track of it pretty close and uh, I do drop after you've exceeded, you know, on your fourth absence after you've exceeded your three. So please uh, keep track of that. Late work. Um, I'm not a fan of late work. I just don't accept it. Um, I know that all sorts of things happen. Uh, work schedules change, internet difficulties, Things happen at home, um, childcare issues, but um, to accommodate for both legitimate and non-legitimate excuses, I drop your lowest homework score and your lowest quiz score, but I do not offer any extensions beyond that. Um, I do want to know if things are going on in your life, if you're in the hospital or if you know, something terrible is happening that's pulling you away from your coursework. I want to know that, but I'm not going to be able to extend um, your quizzes and homework deadlines. Um, the assignment policy, I would really love if you could submit your work in this t following format for, sometimes I'll have you write up something in Word for your homework and submit it. Um, I would love it if you could do the module and then your last name, first initial, and the course. Um, it definitely helps me keep track of, of uh, grading. Grading plan for the course, it's split up between quizzes, homework assignments, your final, a final project and discussion boards. I take the discussion boards pretty serious and I grade them pretty strict so there is a lot of information at the top of the course and a whole special video describing how to read the discussion board rubric so please watch that. 
um, but this is 20% of your grade and it's not an easy 20. It's a 20% it's a that you need to take serious. The project is your employee handbook, which is also at the top of your course, so you could start it now if you wanted. I highly recommend that students utilize tutors um, if you're not confident with your writing skills. Um, that needs to be an MLA or APA format. You need to have work cited um, and it needs to be something that is your original work. So this is a little bit of a project. It can be quite time consuming. There's also very specific submission requirements for the project. So please take some time going over that. It's due at the end of the semester. Your final exam is obviously at the end of the semester. Your homework's worth roughly a third of your course points, and your quizzes are worth roughly a third. Um, we're on the 10-point grading scale, and I do not round. This is your tentative course schedule. It's also in the top block of, Mo of Moodle in a PDF file if you'd like to print it out. And I, I recommend that you do print it out and put it in a prominent place. As I said, I don't accept late work, so it's pretty important that you um, follow the schedule pretty close. The first week is a little different than all the rest just because of the day of the week that we start this year. But a typical module starts on a Monday. So look at module four here. Um, all the work would be available on Monday and I would expect you to finish it that week. So you would hopefully have it done by the end of January. Or maybe that would be, yeah, I don't have the calendar in front of me, but toward the end of January. So hopefully by Friday, you have most all of the work done, 90% of the work done. To encourage that, your initial discussion forum post is always due at Friday at noon. So you get this on Monday, you do all the work, your first post is due Friday at noon. But then, just to allow for anything else to get in the way, work schedules, internet, whatnot, uh, you actually don't have to submit all the rest of the work, the homework and quizzes, until the following Wednesday. Um, that would also be your peer responses by the following Wednesday. Now please note that Monday, there's already a new module opening. So what some students do that is detrimental to their grade is they will stall until maybe Monday, February 1st to attack module four. Well, Monday, February 1st, I'm anticipating you being on module five. So don't let these extra days lull you into procrastination. Think that every module is available on a Monday, plan on it being done by Friday, and these extra couple days are just in case life gets in the way um, and they're in lieu of an extension. So try to get everything done on a Monday to Friday schedule. Um, let's see, let's go back to the course itself. It might look a little different by the time you see this because I'm still editing it. Um, this is your 10% quiz. Um, this is a little letter, hopefully you've read. Here's your schedule that you can print. Here's some information on discussion boards. As you know, these are 20% of your grade. So I spent a lot of time explaining how you can score as maximum points as possible for that 20%. Here's the information about the employee handbook. I even give um, some tips as to how to research with integrity. What I do not want for the employee handbook is for you to go through and um, find an online resource where you just plug in a company name and produce a generic employee handbook that will result in a zero. Um, I want this to be written by you, original work by you. Here's a typical module. Here's module one. Um, I haven't updated the checklist for this course yet, but I do provide a checklist in the beginning, first few modules, and then they start going away. Um, PowerPoints are helpful for a lot of students, but other students don't enjoy them. These could be considered optional. Anything else, though, is not optional. So if there's a video or a, uh, a link to an article, I expect you to read it, and I will hold you accountable for it in either the quiz or the discussion forum. So you have to read everything. Um, many quiz questions are based off of the articles that I have linked. Um, and not all of these are going to be available to you. You're not going to be able to see all of this, but you can see each module would be available on a Monday. Um, sometimes I have lectures that I have recorded on my own. Uh, other times I link an online resource. Here's your discussion forum. Here's your homework assignment. And then below that is your quiz. In this homework assignment, you're going to read the case study in your book. 
and then you're going to answer discussion questions in your book um, and submit it down here. So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me or call me. Um, if you needed to speak with me in the evening, I can definitely arrange that or on a weekend. I know you all have such busy schedules and such different schedules. So I'm definitely here to help you out. Um, I'm really excited about this class. Like I said, it's one of my favorites to teach. Um, so thanks for taking the course. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you.